Remember those tiny quintuplets who made headlines 13 years ago? Five little miracles who fought against all odds? Well, you won't believe how they've grown up. Their journey from fragile newborns to amazing teenagers will leave you speechless. Varvara R. Tomkin's life changed forever when she was just 26 weeks pregnant. She wasn't carrying one, but five precious lives inside her. Little did she know, her world was about to be turned upside down. The journey began months earlier during a routine ultrasound. The technician's eyes widened in disbelief as she moved the wand across Varvara's belly. One, two, three, four, five distinct heartbeats appeared on the screen. The doctors were stunned. Seeing five embryos was a truly rare event. Varvara and her husband Dimitri were overwhelmed with a mix of joy and fear. Carrying a multiple pregnancy was a huge challenge. The strain on Varvara's body was immense. The doctors offered to reduce the number of babies to three to reduce the risks. But after much soul-searching and prayer, the couple decided to keep all five. The following months were filled with medical appointments, careful monitoring, and preparations for their rapidly expanding family. Varvara's petite frame struggled to carry five growing babies, but she remained determined to carry them for as long as possible. One Tuesday morning, a sharp pain shot through Varvara's body. Her hand instinctively went to her swollen belly. Something was wrong. It was far too early for the babies to arrive. Realizing this, Varvara knew she had to act fast to save her unborn quintuplets. Dima, she called out, trying to stay calm. I think it's time. Dimitri rushed into the room, his face filled with worry. The couple quickly sprang into action. Varvara grabbed her pre-packed hospital bag, while Dimitri gathered last-minute items. The weight of five lives and countless unknowns pressed heavily on their minds. In no time, they were racing toward the hospital. Varvara whispered prayers, begging for her babies to be okay. Dimitri's knuckles were white as he gripped the steering wheel, his eyes darting between the road and his wife. Upon arrival, doctors and nurses swarmed around Varvara. The room buzzed with activity. Machines beeped and instructions were shouted. Dimitri held his wife's hand, feeling helpless as he watched the medical team work tirelessly. It was clear that a natural delivery would be too risky for both Varvara and her babies. An emergency cesarean section was the only option. Dimitri agreed to the surgery without hesitation. In a flurry of motion, Varvara was rushed to the operating room. Bright lights illuminated the sterile space as doctors and nurses moved with precision. Dimitri, dressed in scrubs, stood by his wife's side, offering words of encouragement. The surgical team carefully began the procedure. Time seemed to stand still. Then a tiny cry pierced the air. Baby A is out, announced the surgeon. One by one, the other four babies followed. Each cry was a triumph. The NICU team quickly took over, ensuring that each newborn received immediate care. Tears of joy streamed down Dimitri's face as the last baby was delivered safely. In the recovery room, Varvara and Dimitri listened intently as the medical staff explained their quintuplets' conditions. Though tiny and fragile, all five babies were fighting hard. Each was incredibly small, no bigger than a hand, with delicate features that showed their premature arrival. For weeks, the hospital became their second home. Varvara and Dimitri spent every moment by the incubators, whispering to their girls, singing lullabies, and praying for them to grow stronger. Slowly but surely, the babies began gaining weight and breathing on their own. There were scary moments, alarms going off, doctors rushing in. But through it all, the R. Tomkin quintuplets proved to be fighters. Their progress amazed everyone. News of the quintuplets spread quickly, capturing hearts all over Russia and beyond. When the day finally came for the family to go home, they were greeted by a crowd of well-wishers. The city had a special gift for the Artomkins, a large four-room apartment, perfect for their growing family. Settling into their new home, Varvara and Dimitri realized their adventure was just beginning. Caring for five newborns was something they'd never imagined. Their days became a carefully planned routine of feedings, diaper changes, and the occasional moment of rest. Feeding five babies was particularly challenging. Varvara and Dimitri developed a system. Varvara would breastfeed two at a time, while Dimitri bottle-fed the others. The process took time and had to be repeated every few hours. Sleep became a luxury they could hardly afford, 
as the baby's schedules rarely matched. The couple took turns napping, always ensuring one of them was awake to care for the babies. Despite the exhaustion, they cherished the quiet moments when all five girls were peacefully asleep. As the quintuplets grew older, things became more chaotic. Getting five toddlers ready for the day was an adventure in itself. Before they knew it, it was time for their daughter's first day of school. Varvara and Dimitri stood proudly, holding hands as they watched their five little girls walk into school together. They worried about how the other kids would treat them, but those fears quickly disappeared. The Artomkin sisters soon became the stars of their class. There were challenges, of course. On the first day, three sisters were placed in the same class while the other two were separated. This caused anxiety and tears, as the girls weren't used to being apart. It took weeks of work between parents and teachers, but eventually the girls adapted to spending time apart. Over the years, each quintuplet developed her own personality. One emerged as a natural leader, always looking out for her sisters. Another developed a love for drawing and painting. One sister became the comedian of the family, always making everyone laugh. Another was quiet, happiest with her nose in a book. And one of the girls had the voice of an angel, captivating everyone with her singing. When the girls turned seven, Varvara and Dimitri took them on a special trip to visit the hospital where they were born. The medical staff who had cared for them were there to greet the family. Tears flowed as the doctors and nurses saw how much the quintuplets had grown. Back home, life continued as usual. The girls threw themselves into their schoolwork and hobbies. Every Sunday, as they grew into teenagers, the quintuplets faced new challenges. People stared when they went out together. Some classmates asked nosy questions or made rude comments. But no matter what, the sisters always stood by each other. Now 13 years old, the R. Tomkin quintuplets are strong, beautiful, and full of dreams. One wants to be a doctor, inspired by those who saved her life as a baby. Another dream of becoming an artist, already recognized for her talent. One sister has her heart set on becoming a comedian, while another aspires to be a writer, already working on her first novel. And the last quintuplet? She dreams of being a singer, her voice captivating everyone who hears it. Of course, being a teenager isn't always easy. The girls argue like all sisters do, and they're starting to notice boys, which makes their parents nervous. But through it all, they stick together, helping each other through homework, advice, and life. Varvara and Dimitri look at their daughters with pride. Their little miracles have grown into kind, smart, and beautiful young women. Their journey from tiny, fragile babies to strong, confident teenagers shows that miracles do happen. It's a reminder that with love, faith, and determination, anything is possible. So what does the future hold for these quintuplets? Will they follow their dreams and become a doctor, artist, comedian, writer, and singer? Or will life take them in unexpected directions? Only time will tell. But one thing is certain. They will always have each other. What would you do if you were told you were expecting five babies at once? How do you think people can help parents of multiple children? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.